A shootout in an Oakland jewelry store caught on video. A worker opens fire on two men trying to rob the business. Another in a series I like to call because you won't hear it in the mainstream media. But it also backs up my previous statement that the public is held to a higher standard than the criminals. Welcome to another installment of the Connecticut Gum Bench. Today's video is brought to you by PAN Farms, LLC, PAN Farms, your NRA certification and multifaceted gun training. You can reach us at 203-300-6343 or use our website at www.panfarmsllc.com. As always, there'll be a link in the description box below. And if you like channel, like content, what I do, you can support me with the link. Everything is appreciated. Once again, PSA for my Connecticut residents. If you plan on getting your Connecticut pistol permit, please get the training done before July 2024, because then after that, it gets longer, harder, more expensive, just to disincentivize you, the law-abiding public, from going out and getting your permit in order to purchase a firearm. If you have your permit, watch the expiration date. Don't let it expire. If it expires after July, you're going to have to do the new training. Write it in the calendar. Do what you got to do, but don't let it expire. There's a link to the online renewal process right in the description box. Let's talk about this. We're going to go out to the West Coast, Oakland, California, where a jewelry store owner was opening up his shop. And thank God, once again, situational awareness, he saw a car come and park right in front of his store coming the wrong way. And obviously the hackles on his neck stood up and in burst two, three individuals armed, telling him, don't move or we'll shoot. But he had the great equalizer. He pulled his firearm and gunfire was exchanged. You saw a little bit of the video. I want to play the rest of it. I'm going to play in context. You know, monetization is not important when you have to get the facts right. So let's go ahead and watch this. He tells me he saw these guys running up to the store soon after he arrived to open up, and soon the bullets went flying. The bad guys were in and out of that place in just five seconds. I saw two guys creeping up really quick, so I was like, it's a robbery. Two armed men and ten on robbing a jewelry store in Oakland's Fruitvale neighborhood got more than they bargained for when a worker opened fire at them. They told me, don't move or we'll shoot. So I started shooting at them because they had the gun pointed at me. They were shooting back. It was going back and forth for about like 20 seconds. It all happened at MSM Jewelry near 41st and International at about 10 Monday morning. The worker who didn't want his face shown says he saw this Toyota Camry pull up on the wrong side of the street right outside his shop. I draw my weapon. He says he fired the first shot from his 9mm handgun. He says the men then fired about 20 shots at him. One with a 40 caliber handgun with a drum magazine. The other had a 9mm with an extended magazine. These large capacity magazines are illegal. I ducked, right, and then I waited to see him, like, kind of scrambling. The other guy was still shooting. Then I popped my head out and shot seven more. In their scramble to escape, one man left one of his shoes behind. The worker believes he shot this guy in the shoulder. The same man was also hit by his own getaway car, driven by a third person. Oakland police took a report. Officers did not cite or arrest the worker. They said, you did the right thing. They said, you followed, you did everything right. They said, we're just going to take your guns till investigations on, but I have more. The shop is riddled with bullet holes on the walls, the floor, a mirror, and in the back room where the worker had some measure of protection. It is what it is. It happened. I just don't want them to come back. He had this message for the would-be robbers if they do return. If you come back again, trying to do the same thing, we're just going to defend ourselves. At this point... Heard that and you saw that. Immediately, of course, you see the disparity. I guarantee you that shop owner had magazines that were only 10 rounds because that's California law. Yet, the people who were trying to rob him had magazines that are illegal under California law, which once again demonstrates that gun control does not work. Now, we could speculate a lot of things was going on there. They didn't give too much information on the people because they haven't caught up to them yet. But I'm going to go down a rabbit hole and speculate a little bit. They're probably under 21, more than likely teenagers. I guarantee you that car is probably stolen. Speculation, but I guarantee it's stolen. And the people involved probably have rap sheets as long as your arm. It's the standard deal every single time you read one of these stories or a witness to it. And the problem is, once they catch up with these people, 
they're going to, you know, what are they going to actually do to them? Because this is another state that is soft on crime. California, to, in my opinion, is a failed state. It's a failed state. And it's unfortunate that good people have to put up with the criminal activity that just gets swept under the rug by the powers that be because they won't prosecute these people to the full extent of the law. Now, I say bravo to this guy. Good for you, because if he hadn't been armed, what situation would we be talking about today? What would the story be today? And if these two individuals, I'm censoring myself, I understand, but if these individuals had turned around and actually committed violence, because this has happened, people have cooperated with, with criminals and had their lives taken. And if this had happened, what would they be saying? Oh, we need gun control. Well, you have gun control. And it's doing nothing as California spirals further and further down the hellhole of violent crime. But as I said in the beginning of holding the public to a higher standard than the criminals, I'm going to briefly come over to here. And this, we're going to come back to the East Coast. And this is New York. Kathy Hochul out there has put in place a law called the Raise the Age Law. And what that law does, if you're a teenager who commits a violent crime, they're trying to prevent you from going to the you know adult court. They're trying to keep you in juvenile court because you're underage. And I'm sitting there thinking to myself, okay, so you've got these violent little scholars running the streets with illegal firearms, raising havoc, chaos, killing people, but you don't want them to be punished for it. You just want them to get slaps on the wrist. It, it, it's, that is a recipe for disaster. It's an absolute recipe for disaster. And this is the problem. They will not hold these criminals accountable for what they do. That's why we have the problem we have now. And it's not Joe and, you know, John and Jane Doe who happen to ha have an AR-15 in their home. It's the fact that you will not hold criminals accountable for their behavior. And you make it harder and harder for good people to exercise a right while the criminals have free reign. If you look at the most violent cities, cities, I'm not talking about states, I'm talking about cities in the country, the top five have the same issue. They are all run by progressive Democrats with Soros-backed DAs who refuse to prosecute people for violent crime. But yet, the only answer these people always come up with they like to use these situations, especially the inner city violence, to keep raising up their mass shooting totals. They have no problem exploiting those inner city violence situations to jack up the numbers to make people scared. Say, oh, we've had 640 mass shootings, more than the days in the year. But yet they never address the root problem of what is going on in these inner cities. But they are no issue whatsoever, no gumption at all in using those violent tendencies in these inner cities as a way to push gun control on people who have done nothing. It really is a disgusting thing to watch. And I'm going to go there. Democrats don't care about your safety. It's about using chaos and violence that they perpetrated through their policies to disarm you. But let me know what you think. As always, you can leave your comments in the comment section below. And as always, any statements of violence or statements that lead to violence will be removed. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified the next time a video goes live. I will see you on the next one. Peace.